lost the Buckeye. I saw him go. <coughs> oh, well, I guess he lives out in the world now. It was good while he was here. ourselves prepared for some mailbag here today. Kind of a medium-sized mailbag. Uh, we only have one letter. Uh, well, and even that, it's a postcard. But we got a lot of boxes to get through, so it should be fun. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know why I got a little bit of a cough this morning.
All right, folks. I'm just about ready to get going. I think uh, DJ is making some coffee for herself. Oh, I need uh, I need to find the postcard, the one postcard. We always start with that stuff. Where'd it go? There it is. After that, I think we can go in any order we like. We set that aside, check our camera angles, see how we're doing. Not bad. I think that'll work. So, uh, let me start out and say... Um, first off, uh, I've noticed that a couple of our close-up videos from this week have disappeared from YouTube, and YouTube says that uh, the owner has deleted them, but we didn't delete them, and they just went missing. So we got a tech support ticket into YouTube to ask them what's going on. Hopefully those aren't just lost forever. Um, let's see. Uh, in other news, this week was Thanksgiving, and I'm sure I did not do a sufficient job of saying how thankful I am for all of you and all the other things that I'm thankful for. But uh, hopefully over time, you know, Thanksgiving's a nice reminder, but we're thankful all the time, so I'm sure I'd get into it, you know, more uh, over time. Um, there is a very special box in today's mailbag, too. It's, uh, it's this one right here. It looks pretty normal, but that is from my mom, um, who you might know uh, fostered the birds before they came to us. That's uh, Ren, Budgie, and Finch that are in the annex right now. Oh, nice try. That was uh, that was sassy trying to climb up on top of this thing, but she just pulled down a towel and fell. That didn't work, did it, sassy? All right, let me see how we're doing out here. How we doing? Uh huh. Okay, well, you're going to miss stuff for the log. DJ says we should start without her, so let's do that. We have here a postcard. It is a cat in Paris. And on the back it says, Hi, Mr. A and DJ. I looked all over Disney World on our vacation for a cat postcard and finally found one in the French World Showcase at Epcot. So here's a French meow to say hello on the last day of our vacation. I will have a bit of close-ups and mailbag to catch up with. Hope you all have been well. Love, Lori and Danny, and their lonely cats at home, Quill, Sophia, and Tolia. That's so sweet of you guys to think of us while you are in the most amazing place in the world, Disney World. That's fantastic, you know. Uh, I got to visit there once. I was in seventh grade, and I went to Epcot and uh, Disney World, uh, the Magic Kingdom, I guess it's called. So, uh, and it was an amazing experience that I will remember mostly for my whole life. Although that was a long time ago, and I've forgotten quite a bit of it. Um, but uh, I still feel fondly when I think of it. So. Someday I should probably go back. I don't think DJ's ever been. That would probably be a pretty cool thing to do. I don't know, though, as an adult, is it cool if you go just without kids or anything? I mean, is it that still fun? I guess it must be. All right. I went to Disney World. You do? Yeah. Oh, we should do that. Well, I'm trying to go a little slow so that DJ's got a chance to settle in before we get moving. But here we have a drop shipment. DJ's got to get her laptop and everything ready. Uh, I think most of you know that this afternoon we've got a couple of people stopping by uh, unusually. They are stopping by to meet the cats, not necessarily to adopt them today. Uh, we've got some folks that are stopping by to meet. Well, um, I want to make sure that people know that they're approved adopters. They're not just some random folks that want to meet. 
Right. So, um, they just they're stopping by to, to meet, um, let's see, it's uh, Hickory and Maple, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so they're stopping by to meet Hickory and Maple, and they are approved to adopt Hickory and Maple, so there's a chance that uh, if they immediately like them, they will take them home today. And then we've also got someone stopping by to meet Gracie today. Uh, who's also an approved adopter, but Gracie's not ready to go. So even if they really like her, um, they're going to have to wait a little while. All right, so here we have a uh, package to Mr. A and DJ from Runip. It says, this is DJ's fault for getting me excited about Christmas with her tree. I'm not sorry at all. And it contains... Christmas ping pong balls with the Kitten Academy logo wearing a Christmas hat on them in red and green. Take a look at that. Those, these ping pong balls, by the way, make excellent cat toys, just in general. I guess I should toss a couple of these around this room and take another red and green set to the annex, huh? Those are really cool. So we've got an older bag of ping pong balls with the Kitten Academy logo on them also, a big bag, and we put uh, one of those into everybody's adoption bags. But I think these are going to be just for us because there's four of them. And I think that means a red-green set for here and a red-green set for the annex. Let's see if these guys are interested. What is this? Oh, where'd it go? Now we've completely blocked the camera for the rest of the mailbag. Thank you, Bruno, so much. Those are really cool. I love the little logo. You say credit to Jay for the logo, and you're right. Uh, our friend Jay made variations on the Kitten Academy logo a while ago, and we've been keeping those. Uh, there was a Halloween uh, Kitten Academy logo, well, a Thanksgiving Kitten Academy logo, and a Halloween one with a witch hat, uh, I think. I put those on the stream on the appropriate days. Uh, there's definitely the Santa hat one, and then there's also just a generic sort of celebration one that's got a party hat on that we use once in a while, you've probably seen. So they're really cool. Runa, thank you so much for sending these ping pong balls. I'm sure the kids will and do appreciate them. They're already kind of all over them and blocking the camera quite a bit. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Maybe we'll have to get up and move them away from the camera. All right. Here we have a package that is international, but it doesn't say where it's from or who it's from. I think it's from Canada. No, I think it's from Great Britain. The UK, I mean, sorry. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'm only going on the fact that the amount of money paid for customs looks like it's written in pounds. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, oh, okay, here we go. We have a note. All right. This is the note. Warning, pathetic handwriting. Read this first, please. It may help you. You guys are awesome. May the pause be with you. By the way, happy birthday. More fun inside. Wow, this is a very excited little letter here. <laughs> the letter is excited. The letter is excited. There's a lot of exclamation marks going on the front here. And inside it says, Merry Christmas! Okay to read on stream. Thank you, Mr. A and DJ. I'd like to thank you for all you do at Kitten Academy. I've been watching since Ivy's League, so over a year now. Best decision of my life. Now about the package, unless you've already opened it, then I hope you like it. It's just a version of 12 Days, 12 Days of Kitmas. It's also a placemat for you to eat off. Thank you for being who you are. Don't change unless it makes Kitten Academy better. Oh, from, then you can change. From Chris at ChrisLow169 on oh. chat. P.S. Message to DJ. Convince Mr. A to sing the song on the placemat. You that's, can do it. That's a pretty tall order there, Chris. That's a very tall order. Oh, these are very cute. Oh, my God. That's adorable. Yes. These are really cute. One for you and one for me. You know, this is a very, very long song to sing, so I'm probably going to skip it, but I will read the 12 things that uh, 
that are sent as, uh, as can part do of the 12 a days of Kitmas. reading of the 12 days of Kitmas. Yeah, we're not going to do that either. Anyway, you've put pictures here of a whole bunch of the different kits, kittens, and litters that we've fostered. We have the Persians here. I see the Chili's kids are here. Can you? Um, here, you want to see one? There's two of them, one for me and one for DJ, presumably. These are really cool. These are these are very neatly made. They're like a, a MDF on the back, maybe. And then uh, on the front, it's really nicely printed and shiny. So on the 12 days, we have... Uh, 12 kitten trees, 11 flat mice, 10 burbs of chirping, 9 mail bags, 8 ants of crawling, 7 custard mews, 6 faculty, 5 songs kittens, 4 ivies league, 3 ruse chews, 2 lovely humans, and 1 creepy reindeer. <laughs> that's so cute. That is, that's pretty cool, Chris. Thank you so much. These are really fun. They came out really cool. They did come out really cool. Wow. Huh. I can think of having some other stuff printed this way. That's that's pretty pretty awesome, actually. It's sturdy, too. I wonder if the cute kids can eat, it, eat on I bet they could, yeah. yeah. I might take one down to uh, Smokey okay. so she can see what she's been missing. <laughs> she might get out of my room. I don't even want the pictures in here. Anyway. Thank you so much, Chris. That's really cool. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's really thoughtful of you, too. I love and it. I like the song. I do like the song. I'm sorry I didn't sing it for you. That song is literally like a half an hour long, though. If you sing the whole thing, you got to build up, and then you got to go back through everything yeah, for every chorus. Like and... You can just sing the 12th day. Oh. Not cool. Okay. What do we got next? Kit miss. So cute. Isn't it so cute, Chestnut? Away. All right, here we have another international package. This one, what do you guys got here? Everybody's after that ball. Okay, uh, this is from, oh, wait, there's a mailing address. This one is from, oh, Hell's Dells. All right, from Hell's Dells. What do we got? Creative packing material. Ah, hi, DJ and Chris, faculty and kittens. Please find and close some decorations and treats for your Christmas tree. Oh. I did not know that people gave treats for their Christmas tree. Maybe that's what we've been doing wrong all this time. What? The grows? Yeah. Lots of love, Helen, Jasper, and Jimbo in Manchester, England. Also, Morgan and Khaleesi in Oregon, USA. P.S. You can both eat a chocolate now. Everyone does. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's see what we've got here. We have, oh, look at this. This is so cute. I want to see, I want to see. It is a can little happy, like a, like a Charlie cat. It's like a little yellow tabby ornament, and he looks so happy, and he's got a little bell on his collar. He has a little bluff. He does have a tiny bluff. You're right. Oh, he's got a little oh, tiny so bluff. Cute. He's a very happy tiny kitten. Aww. Here we have. Oh, so far, all of I our love this one. The three ornament cats are pretty serious. Yeah, this one is also not as serious. This is a cat in a stocking. Oh, he's so cute. He is really cute. He has this little tiny bell. Oh, I know, I know. Do you hear this? It's so does it rain? Oh my gosh, it does! That's really high pitched. That's like one of those tests where you, uh, you know, they, for a long time they were selling ringtones that were really high pitched so only kids could hear them, supposedly. And uh, I know there's a lot of people that are older like me that could hear. Them. Yeah. Oh yeah, look it up. It's called. Um, yeah, I think it's called like the mosquito ringtone or something like that. I can't remember, but. I can hear mosquitoes. Yeah, it's not Maybe bad. I'm still young. Maybe sure. Anyway, it's. That oh, bell is like that. I had to really focus on it to hear it. Too. But I wasn't so looking for adorable. it. Adorable! <laughs> I didn't notice the star on his tail. That's know. really cute. He's so festive. <laughs> uh, That's probably just a delivery. I'm sure it's just a, de a delivery at the door. Let me double check. Anyway. Yeah, it's the same man that comes every morning. This is a cat in a Christmas stocking from Gisela Graham in London. That's really cool. That's like hand felted cat. I'm sure it looks awesome. It's really so cute. I love the little eyes. There you go. We need 
tiny kittens, by the way. Tiny kittens? You mean we need a new mom cat? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, a so... mom cat that's just waiting around for maybe two weeks like Angel did. Yeah, exactly. That's what I want. So, you know, we are... Um, if you look at our latest blog post on kitten.academy, we've gotten to the point where we have um, five cats total between both rooms that still need adopters. And that is putting us pretty close to being ready to bring in a new mom cat. So I'm pretty excited about that. Adopt, adopt. Yes, adopt, adopt. Um, all right. Here we have two laser-cut wooden cats that look kind of like the Kitten Academy logo. And it says, it's laser engraved. It says Kitten Academy Christmas. And they each have a tiny little snowflake on them. So pretty. Those are really cool. I love anything that's laser card. That's just fun for me. I love anything that's High an tech. ornament. That's, yes. that's, fun. that's a perfect union of what you love. Oh, the stuff I like. And then finally, we have uh -oh. Cadbury milk chocolate tree decorations. Wow. You said treats for your tree, and I they made are. fun of it. I made fun of the way you wrote that, but they literally are treats that you put on your tree. They are candies that you use to decorate a Christmas tree. I've never heard of that before. So you've got a little loop on them so that you can hang them up on the tree. That's... Huh. I didn't know that existed. Me neither. You know, if we just decorated our tree exclusively with this by uh, Christmas, it would be ready to take down. <laughs> there wouldn't be any decorations on it. We could just take it down. It would be so easy. It would be so easy. We need to think about this, DJ. We need to think about doing entirely edible decorations on our tree next year. I'm thinking about it. Okay, good. I think it's a good plan. Mm, no. What? Kitten Here. out of... Hang on, I'm being distracted. Hell's address Kitten. is on this if you need it. I already have one. Kitten? Felted kitten in stocking? Please buy it close some decorations and trees for your Christmas tree. Um, now I feel silly for making can... fun of it because they oh are. Oh my god, you're hitting people in their ears with that. Like you're I'm punching sorry. them in their ears. I'm sorry I punched you all in your ear by throwing that ball so close to the microphone. Um, she said we should have one candy. I'm glad they're right there. I'm not ready yet. My stomach is not feeling great. It's been like three days of not feeling great. I don't need to go into detail for you guys. Uh, but I'm hoping I get over it soon. I've been thinking about it, actually, yeah. I've been thinking about going to the doctor, um, or the, even the emergency room at some point. Emergency? Emergency, yeah. Well, I don't think the uh, clinic does imaging, and I might... You think you want imaging? You think you want a CT? Maybe. Maybe, I mean... Who else is going to go to the doctor and get a CAT scan? I mean, if there's anything that I would go to the doctor for, I'd be like, don't you know who I am? I need a CAT scan. Uh, maybe, um, <laughs> maybe there's a kitten in there. Exactly. Uh, all right. So here we have a box from Argentina. Now, I'm not sure if we've gotten anything from Argentina in the past, have we? Um, Brazil. But yeah, Brazil, Argentina. but I don't think Argentina... Yeah. Wow, it's not our first time in South America, but I think it's our first Argentinian package, so that's going to be exciting. I have no idea what this may contain, or how to open it for that matter. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you helping? Chestnut, Chestnut? has to sit next to everything. I know. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. <gasps> oh my goodness. There goes your diet. Yeah. Oh, I like the Dulce de Leche candy. Well, That's now you don't get to eat this. Can all right, just hang on. All of that? First off, we have a letter here that says okay to read, and it's made from like a, a decorative art paper, like a like a rice paper or something that's been dyed and, and crushed, and it's beautiful, beautiful paper. And then we have a letter, and it says, "Dear Mr. A and DJ, hello. My Hi. name is Flavia. Flavia." I hope I'm reading that right, too. And I live in Buenos Aires, Argentina. I have two cats, Lolita, my beautiful white princess, and Simon, my sweet orange boy. I started to see you since Charlie arrived at Kitten Academy. Uh, from that moment until now, I have become in a great fan. 
I love all cats in the world, but my weaknesses are mom cats. I fell in love with sweet Rue, and I am so happy to see her so loved and cared for by her new family. I want to say thank you for the wonderful work that you do. You are my heroes. I would like to live in the USA to adopt a Kitten Academy cat and maybe a mom cat. I wanted to tell you that I love the mailbag. I have a lot of fun watching, especially when Custard is in the room playing with the kittens. Custard should be in here. Custard should be in here. Let me go get him. Okay. By the way, I've seen Flavia on um, YouTube a lot. So yes, I think I, I have Flavia, seen Flavia, Flavia on Flavia or Flavia. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know which. I don't know how to do the vowel there, but uh, we have seen you on YouTube uh, in the comments section. Anyway, uh, where was I? Mr. A. Please tell DJ that I admire her and love her. Oh, it's a good thing she's out of the room right now. Uh, I'll remind her when she comes back in. She is the sweetest woman in the world. I love when she screams, especially when she says, Custard, with that sweet voice. She is so funny. You are a beautiful couple, and I wish someday you have a partner who loves cats like you are. Sorry if I made many mistakes, but my first language uh, is Spanish, and my English is bad. I apologize. I finished this letter wishing you all the best. You deserve it for being such good people. Thank you for all you do for these beautiful creatures. If someday you visit my country, please I want you to know that you have a friend in Argentina and I will be uh, for what you need. Aww. All my respect and love, Flavia. Flavia. Uh, I hope you enjoy what is in the box and remember, everything is diet. Oh, All thank right, you. thank you so much. Um, so first off, I have to reread part of your letter because you, uh, DJ came back in the room. It says, Mr. A, please tell DJ that I admire her and love her. She's the sweetest woman in the world. Oh. I love when she screams, especially when she says custard with that sweet voice. She is so funny. Custard. So, custard. Hey, custard. <laughs> custard. I should put them over here. That's thank you so much. This is such a sweet thing for you to have sent. And uh, I'm glad you say everything here is diet, so um, even though I think we know that's not quite true. So first off, we have a collection of bonbons, um, a large collection of bonbons. And I hope DJ is taking notes here because there's a lot to remember. They seem to be bonbons in assorted flavors, although I'm not sure. How many? Well, uh, about seven, yeah, whatever, seven well, or eight. If we need to keep track of how much you've eaten. How much I've eaten? We are not going to keep track of how much I've eaten. That does not I'm sound good. No, I'm oh, save myself Flavia, I should yeah. say, by the way, your English is very good. Uh, we've certainly seen much worse, and uh, I Why know that... Why would you say, like, okay, this is not how you tell someone their English is good. We've seen much worse. We have. We've seen much worse from people who, like, live in the United States and speak English. Mm. Uh, on top of that, though, I thought, I thought uh, certainly better than my Spanish uh, ever has been or ever could be. So. Well. Fantastic. <laughs> Can I have some, please? Can I have some bonbon or well, something? Well, is it a bonbon that you want or do you want the... Uh, Yes. Oh, no, well, this is a, this is actually a coffee oh, to make. A yes, this is a cappuccino mix. Look at what Custard brought you. Oh, Custard, what did you bring me? You brought me a tree? Oh, Custard. Okay, buddy. All right, hang on. Too cute. Yes. Okay, so what was that? Dolce de leche. Dolce de leche. Uh, cappuccino. Mix. Yes, like an instant cappuccino. Caramel flavored. Oh, Very cool. cool. Here we have for Mr. A, and it is off. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, this is the coolest thing I have never seen. So you guys know, and you probably have noticed that on my phone, I always have a ring on the back. I think this is one of the coolest inventions that anybody has ever invented. Because uh, it's not only the perfect way to hold your phone while you're working on it, you just stick your finger in here and then you can still go with your thumb and you don't worry about dropping your phone and it's awesome. I love it. Best way to hold a phone. But they also work as a stand. You just turn it one way, it's got a flat side, and then you can stand up your phone. So uh, I, I'm completely crazy about these things. And you have sent me a ring for a phone where the base of it is a cat. That is so, oh, so cool. Look at it. Look at 
it. It's a ring. It's a phone ring. He's a serious cat, by the way. I know. This, is, this cat looks very serious. It kind of reminds me of Eddie. Like, it looks like... I know. It's a very serious Eddie cat. I love this. I'm going to put this one on my phone. Can Custard be any cuter? I don't think he could be any cuter. Oh, my God, Custard! Look at how we've got an imitator right here. Sassy and Custard are both sort of rolling the same way. That was very cute. Oh, so adorable. Big cat, little cat. Oh, and now they're touching noses. Uh, I got a good picture of it, too. Oh, time to play. Like it or not. Okay, uh, here we so have what, one. What, is, what do you call that? I call it a ring for a phone. Ring for a phone? Like when it rings? Yes. Ring, ring. Exactly. You should open this Can one. Can you please tell me a good name for it? Like, what is that? I don't ring. know. Ring stand for phone? Stand for phone with serious cat. It literally says ring stand on it, so. It says stent. Okay. Like you put in your. Like a stent? Like a medical stent? Yeah, like your coronary artery. Okay. At the same time, I think you should also open this. This says for DJ, and there's another matching one that's for me, so I'll open this one over here. so cute. I need my coffee's taken in. Good. All right, let's see what this is. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, this is just a bag of candy. I love that bag. It's, it's We have a Bonobon, a Bonobon brand uh, candy bar. I have a ring stand too. We have a Koffler Block candy bar. Oh, my cat is cuter. I gotta, I gotta show you guys all this though, because this is some cool stuff. Oh my goodness! Wow. Look at my cat. Here's a Dolce de Leche uh, candy. Mine. Look. Oh, yours is it looks very like cute. Donut. Oh, this is cool. Bonafide Meccano, and it is a candy. It is a. It's a chocolate with caramel in it, but it is in the shape of a nut. How cool is that? Like a nut, like a mechanical nut. That is the coolest thing. Here we have Toffee. Toffee? Toffee. Okay, I'm not writing any of this. That's fine. There's too much to write down anyway. Just say bag of candy. Uh, here we have another Dolce de Leche. I will need An Arcor Koffler. Oh, man. There's a bag of candy. Uh, here we have, um, I'm totally blowing this Spanish, by the way, Bocadito Maroc, I guess. Eleanor is somewhere laughing. I know, she yeah. is completely laughing. Cabsha, Cabsha, hmm, <laughs> Dos Corazones. Two All eyes. right, yes, good job, DJ. Tofi, another Tofi, another Kofler Block, a Bananita. Bananita, it's got a monkey on it. It's a banana, that's really, I like that. Uh, burrita chocolate, 70% cocoa. Mm, that's some good stuff. I like dark chocolate. What do they speak there? Uh, Kofler Extra. I thought it was Portuguese, but she says Spanish in her letter, so I don't know. And, uh, no, it's Spanish. Yeah, maybe, or maybe they just call it Spanish. I don't know how it works. I have no idea how it works. I know literally nothing, and the more I talk, the dumber I sound, so I'm just going to stop. Here we have Simpsons Chocolate Spanish. Jack. And Eleanor is laughing. Chocolate Jack. And they have Simpsons characters on them for some reason. There we go. And here we have a tiny pink box that says for DJ. So she's going to open it. Well, I haven't opened my owl bag yet. Oh, well, your owl bag, I believe, is a bag of candy. Which, by the way, I'm going to put this candy back in the bag. There we go. Tiny I'm going to take right now while DJ figures out what she's got. What have you got? What is it? Chair? Oh, look at this tiny cat! What? Tiny it's a tiny, tiny it's a little bracelet. charm bracelet that's got pink beads and the tiniest little cat. It has gems all over it. Little shiny cat. Oh no. Little tiny cat at the bottom. Oh no, no, no. Don't break that now. That's not a cat toy. Here you go. You better take this back. Tiny Are those earrings? earrings? Yeah. They match? Let's see. I know, that box is adorable. Oh, yeah, they do match, I guess. They're all pink. Oh, they are. Look at this. Oh, oh my goodness, this is so tiny. I'm afraid I'm going to accidentally inhale these earrings. 
don't inhale my earring. I That's could. That's not going to help that. the kittens that are in so your she, belly. Here we have a tiny, tiny little box. And inside the tiny, tiny little box, there's two tiny, tiny little earrings that have the Hello Kitty logo on them with little pink accents for the bow. And uh, it looks like they've got some little gym things on them, too. It's very I'm tiny. Only Brazil that speaks Portuguese. I see. Okay, now we've cleared up the Portuguese Spanish question, so thank goodness for that. So sorry. <laughs> I have the knowledge of the world that is typical of an American. Um, which is to say, if I hadn't married DJ, I still might not even realize that India was a country. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, all right. So here we have palpito oh. teeth, little tiny teeth, oh, so and we have various flavors, which are, uh, let's see, we have a black tea, we have a lemon oh, tea. Uh, I have the same candy that you have. A coriander tea? Or uh, is that really what this is? Mint. I think this is a mint tea. I think that's what that's saying. Vanilla tea? Oh, and an Earl Grey. All right, so we have all these tiny, tiny teas. Tiny teas. Tiny teas. I also, I like the fact that they're all labeled in Spanish, except Earl Grey, who is just Earl Grey. Like, he doesn't change. No, it doesn't matter what language, it's always Earl Grey. Okay. Now, there's one last thing in the box. Uh, DJ opened her candy bag, but I bet it's mostly the same stuff, right? It's you going to exactly eat one of those right the now? Same stuff. Thank yeah, you so know. much for sending us so much candy. So Speaking awesome. of the same stuff, we have two stacks of candy bars. And they are identical stacks of candy bars. And one has a pink ribbon and one has a blue ribbon. <laughs> so we're going to guess who's who. I think the pink one's probably for me and the blue one's probably for DJ. So um, I'm going to open the pink one and we'll see what's going on in here. Okay. We have a Koffler Vulcan de Mousse, which I think is like a, a moose volcano. My goodness, at least the picture on the front is a moose volcano with a chocolate plane flying over it. That's pretty cool. Here we have Nevada de Chocolinas. Um, wow. Which is like a, a cookies and cream, I'm imagining, but it's got a picture of a little house in the woods and it's all made of cookies and cream. Here we have a toffee again, which is the, I can see from the picture, the, the uh, arrow chocolate with caramel in it. Mm. And then we have another one that is a coffler, which is arrow chocolate with a mystery ingredient. What does it say? I'm not sure. Con crema de mani y oblia. Okay, I totally Why ruined that. Why it so... So what? So wrong? Why do I have to say it's so wrong? It's all I can do. It's, yeah. it's literally all I can do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize to the entire country of Argentina for everything. I'm so well, sorry. Just do it for the whole continent. You're right. South America. South America, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, thank you so much for sending all this candy. It's awesome, and I'm going to eat as much of it as humanly possible. Uh, I really am, and uh, DJ's just going to have to deal with the fact that I need a diet. Did you eat all this? Are you sharing no. oh, some of it with me? Is this for me? Okay. I don't mind. Doctor! Hi, Doctor! Are you playing with a little bit of cat hair. Oh, look at Cuthbert and Hickory. They're so cute. Hickory's patting him on his face, and Cuthbert's just like, mm, okay, I'll take it. Mm. Isn't it so good? That is good. Mm. It's not just a caramel flavor. There's a hint of a something. There's a hint of something there. Very good. I wouldn't know what it is. Cutting! Okay. Thank you so much. Wow. I'm so pretty much. sure awesome. that's our first box from Argentina. And what a showing it is. Uh, we... Definitely like our Argentinians now, for DJ sure. Too. Now, okay, DJ says we like you guys before. I don't think I'd had a fully formed opinion, but now I do. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you so these much. These little Seriously. are so adorable. I know. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Okay, moving right along. Let's see what else we got here. Who's hitting? That's where to you. 
here we have a box. It says, hi to all Fox Lake Postal workers. You rock. Thank you. And then on this side, it's got the Kitten Academy logo. And on the top, it says, open with care. Open with care. Well, you, you know, have care? You know we're caring people. We're definitely caring people. So I will definitely open this box and be a caring person at the same time. See, there's a letter here. This is amazing. All right, the letter starts, okay to read on live stream, and then uh, inside there's a letter that has a letterhead that is three cats and a smiling sunflower. And it says, hi, Mr. A and DJ. I'm so glad you were there to take care of the mom cats and kittens. Your work is very much appreciated by the live stream followers. I, for one, am thankful for you opening your home to us and letting us get a glimpse into your and DJ's lives as you take care of those mom cats and kittens. I'm sure that I speak on most everyone's behalf when I say that without your compassion toward mom cats and their kittens, the world would be just a bit sadder. I've included a gift for DJ, uh -oh. and I hope that this will keep her a bit warmer in these winter months. Yay. I am most certain that DJ will not be the only one enjoying my gift for its warming properties. The faculty may decide to snuggle up in it as well if it is left lying on a chair, bench, or couch. I'm sure this will not get to you before Thanksgiving, so I hope you had a wonderful day with friends and family. God bless you both and keep up the good work. Sabine, a.k.a. Cat Tatonic, no, Cat Tatonic, Cat Tatonic on Discord. Pronounced cat tat o tonic. I see. Now I got it. Cat tat o tonic. O tonic. Yes. Cat tat o tonic. Cat tat o tonic. Yes. Cat tat o tonic. All right. Cat tat o tonic. I got it now. All right. Uh, hugs to the kids, mom, cats, and faculty. Of course. Cat tat o tonic. You have sent us an amazing, amazingly knit thing. Blanket, wow. perhaps. Did you knit this? That's what I want to know. Did you make this? Because this is beautiful. Oh my God. This knit is spectacular. Look at this. <gasps> is it one of those tiny scarves? No, it is a yeah. blanket thing. Uh, no, this is not a scarf. Oh. Or a poncho. Oh, it's triangular shape though, like a like a pashmina, right? Is that what you call it? No, a poncho. A poncho? What is the difference between a poncho and a pashmina? Pashmina is a material and it's a scarf. Uh, I don't know these things, but it is triangular shaped and it is beautiful. And I'm going to hand it over to DJ. Wow, this is fantastic. And I love the big tassels on the bottom. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. This really looks... Did you did you knit this cat catatonic? Cat catatonic. Cat I'm trying. It's so bad. It's so beautiful. Here. I'm sorry, crocheted it. Going? Here you go. Bucky! You got that thing, Bucky? Did you conquer that tissue paper? The catatonic, that is phenomenal. I mean, that is really cool. I believe you did make that. It looks very handmade. It looks beautiful. Uh, DJ is going to treasure that forever. I mean, literally forever. That's so... Fantastic. Thank you so much. I think DJ's looking on chat to see if you're saying anything about it. So while she's doing that, I'm going to move on. Here we have a box. I already know who this one is from. It is from Nico Chan, who sent that beautiful t-shirt last week. That's the t-shirt that had the tree with the cats and the birds in it. It was so beautiful. DJ's really excited to wear it. And you said that you had sent something for DJ that was going to arrive last week. And something for me that was going to arrive this week. So this must be the thing that is for me. From Nico Chan. It was Nico Chan, right? Yes, it was Nico Chan. Oh. This shawl is so amazing. What even is this? Oh, I know what this is. This is a sunshade for my car. But what is it? This is so cute! What? Oh man, everywhere Do you have I go. Any dad on it? 
It has three cats on it. Everywhere I go, people are going to know which car is mine because it is the one with the two cats in the front seat and the cat in the baby seat in the back. Take a look at that. How cool is that? Look. Oh! Is that so cute? I know. This is adorable. Okay, you need to open it. Do I need to open the whole thing so, so that people can see it? All right. It looks like it folds up. Yeah. So it's the whole bottom view. Okay. Hang on. I think you all need to see this. Uh, oh, there's some suction cups here. Okay. I've never had one of these before. This is a great idea. In the summer around here, it gets really hot in some of the cars. Or we could move somewhere where it really gets really yeah, hot. Yeah. This is a... Melting on right. This is a whole other discussion, but DJ and I have been doing a lot of thinking and figuring lately about when she starts her residency, we want to move somewhere else, and potentially someplace where it's a little warmer than it is here in the frozen wastelands of northern Illinois, which is nearly Wisconsin. Um, so we actually have a surprise coming this week, and I don't want to give anything away, but um, I think that we're going to have a little bit of fun with the idea of deciding where to move. So this may end up being even more valuable to us if we move to someplace that's just hot so all cute. the time. That's baby kitty in the back. I know. Uh, it's adorable. Is that visible? Let me see. Can I see real quick while you hold it? Well, it's not visible now because we've got a Junie oh, in the way. On the, oh, adorable. Yep. That's really cool. Now, the inside has got that nice reflective material. Keeps all the heat out, and it packages right up, too. This is very simple to put together like this. You just yeah, I like the snap, flip it like this. There you go. Stow it in the car. I love it. Uh, they sent the... Um, I haven't seen one of those in Saudi where we had to have those sort of oh. stuff would melt in the car. Oh, you guys, these are big in Saudi, really? Huh, I never thought I'd think of that, really, I guess. Interesting. So I remember, you know, we had the um, audio cassettes that we would leave in the car, and they and would, they would melt. melt. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I bet everything would melt. Wow, I can't imagine how hot it gets in the sun there. You just park out in the sun. They must have a lot of covered parking, right? Yeah, average amount of covered parking. This is great. Nico-chan, thank you so much for sending it. I really am going to enjoy this. I'm, uh, I don't want to put it back in here, so I'm just going to set it aside, and that way we can get rid of that box. It's much, much smaller without the box. It's got to consolidate. Okay. All right. Hang on. i got to oh, reach back here and see what we got. So we got a package here from Zazzle, and it came to us open in the mail, so hopefully nothing fell out. So that was from Nico Chan, right? Mm-hmm. This says to Mr. A and DJ from Runeb. Oh, and it also says this is DJ's fault for getting me excited about Christmas with her tree. I'm not sorry at all. Thanks again to Jay for the logo. Okay. And it says there is a card enclosed. He is looking in here. Oh, this must be the card. Here we go. This was the draft it? No addresses? Oh, this is the Christmas card that Runip has been working on oh, wow. to make available for everybody to buy if they wanted to send out Christmas cards from Kitten Academy. So first off, on the back of the card, this is this is the front, this is the back. The back just has a whole bunch of the logos of the Kitten Academy. The front has the Kitten Academy logo with the Christmas hat and a border of little holly leaves, which is beautiful, or mistletoe. Is that mistletoe? Um, I think it's holly. Is it? I said Holly. Yeah, it is Holly, not Mistletoe. should go with my guts. Anyway, Runip, our, the official poet laureate of Kitten Academy, has written a poem to go on the front of the card, and it says, "'Twas the night before Christmas when on K.A.'s stream each kitten but one was lost in a dream. Oh. One dreamed of Mousy with jingling tail, another of what Santa might bring in the mail." Perhaps there'd be toy fish, a new Charlie ball, to share with her siblings, such good kittens all. Our one wakeful kitty, content in his bed, had warm thoughts of turkey and treats in his head. He purred as he watched the gentle snow fall. Then, his ear twitched. He heard a soft call. 
Come, faculty, let's go. Are you all ready? No barking, Elsie. Then lead the way, Eddie. And out of the window he saw such a sight. Santa's sleigh darted off into the night. But Kitten stared. Were his eyes seeing true? Along with the reindeer ran the faculty crew. Chosen by Santa to spread the good cheer that lives in their home every day of the year. And as Santa flew off, our kid heard him call to all a Merry Christmas and spoogles to all. Runa, that is fantastic. And on the inside, you've written to Mr. A, DJ, faculty, students, K-8 fans, and creepy reindeer. <laughs> wishing each and every one of you a peaceful and joyous Christmas. Thank you all for being the way you are. And I hope that Santa brings you everything you could dream of. Love and spoogles, Runa. P.S. Special thanks to the talented and wonderful Jay for the Christmas Kitten Academy logo. Have a very meowy Christmas. That's awesome. Runa, that's fantastic. You've made onions, uh, DJ's, somebody's cutting onions over by DJ, I'm sure. That's the only explanation for what's happening. That's, Runa, that poem is fantastic, and I know that you've put a certain amount of work into making that card happen, and, uh... But it's fantastic. Thank you so much. Thanks to you. Thanks to Jay. I, that's really wonderful. Can people get the card? Or what's the I think they can. Maybe Runa sent a link to me, or maybe uh, Runa can send a link to everybody about where to get the card. If somebody else wants a copy of the card, I think that they should get it. You should, like, retweet it. I think I will. I think I will. I'll make sure that gets done. Meanwhile... <laughs> Meanwhile, we have another letter from Sarah in Japan. Ah, this must be more Lucy the Cat, which is now one of our favorite recurring segments on the mailbag. Uh, this is book six, I think. This might be our sixth one. Here, first off, we have a Japanese uh, tea towel, hand towel. And it's uh, gauze like the last one was, but it's got a different pattern on it. It's got little balls with little cats on it. It's very cute. It's similar to the previous one, so they'll go well together. But it is not the same. And then inside of that we have... Oh, yes. Beautifully packaged. Lucy the Cat. Lucy the Cat Beauty and the Feast. Beauty and the Feast. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I see. This is going to be a good one. Okay, it says, Kids Academy, Dear Mr. A and DJ, Thank you so much for sharing your beautiful kittens and mom cats, as always, and we appreciate all of your dedication and hard work. I'm very happy you've liked our Lucy the Cat series so far, and hope you will enjoy her sequel here this week. Lucy has some special tools to stay neat, just like your kittens, and hope you will enjoy peeking at her comb and brush on page 12 and 13. Mm, I like that they give us I highlights. know. I love that you guys highlight this stuff. Oh, look at this. This is oh. definitely cleaning of Lucy. Those are beautiful pictures. Her scratching post on page 16 and 17. Oh, that's cute. Also with a hairball. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, her scratching pad on 18 and 19. Oh, I see that. Toothpaste and toothbrush on 24 and 25. Oh. What did you do? Oh, you know what? You said 24 and 25, and that's oh cute. My but God. hang on. That's actually getting your teeth brushed. But here she is looking at it. She uses advanced care arm and hammer with baking soda. Now, here's an interesting thing. Uh, this one is also translated in rhyme, which must be a difficult thing to do. Yeah. Uh, especially if it was rhyming in Japanese, then to keep it rhyming in English means you've got to... That's it's always been an interesting question about when people are doing translations that way. You know, do you change the words and the meaning to maintain a rhyme, or do you translate it literally and completely lose the poetry of it? It's... It's difficult, right? It's, it's not one of those things that there's no right answer to. Anyway, 
Her favorite taste is tuna, page 22 and 23. Oh, I see. You did have us show both, but you, you went in the opposite order that I did. So here she is actually getting her teeth brushed. <laughs> <laughs> Does each one of your kittens also have his and her favorite taste? I'm happy your eucalyptus and elderberry have been adopted all together by a very nice family, and hope like and hope the rest of your current kittens will also meet the kindest foster families just like them. And our Lucy the Cat sequel is looking forward to visiting Kitten Academy soon. Please take care and have a beautiful week and enjoy another cat hand towel as well. Sincerely, Sarah. And uh, Sarah is the translator. I've said this before. In fact, it's, I've said this every week lately because I w that she's been sending a new one of these every week, which is wonderful. That these are uh, translated by Sarah, and every page is written both in Japanese and in English. So not only are they fun children's books with some great photos. I love this photo of Lucy in the, f in the leaves. leaves. I know, the colors. This is beautiful. So not only are they great photos, but... Um, if you're trying to learn either English or Japanese and you know the other one, uh, this is like a Rosetta Stone for you. Uh, it's fantastic. And I don't know if it's still the case, but uh, previously, let's see, there's an Amazon thing here in the front that shows... Oh! So, Teens Literature and Fiction on the Japanese Amazon... Uh, under teens literature and fiction, the top 100 teen literature and fiction, number two, Lucy the Cat, Beauty and the Feast. Mm -hmm. This very book, number two on the top 100 chart for Amazon. That's quite an achievement. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for sending this, Sarah. These are so wonderful. We love these, and we're actually, so we have been keeping these uh, set aside, but now that we've got a big collection of them, I think we're going to make a special space on our bookshelf just for Lucy the Cat. We were just talking about that the other day. I think it's a good idea. These are so awesome. Thank you so much for sending these. You've been super generous to us, and it's just fun. It's great for us to see. And I hope that uh, I hope some of our fans have been enjoying these as well by ordering them. Um, all right, I'm not going to be able to get these back in here with the packing material. That must have been quite a trick to get them in there the first time. But I will put them back in. Here we go. I hand this off to DJ to make sure she's got a cat along. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. She's got a cat along. Fantastic. All right, let's go here. We have a package DHL Kitten Academy. And this looks like it is from Germany. I love the Oh, it says here it's from California. I guess oh, it's just a German you. box. That's strange. Okay, so maybe it's from California. Did Bucky just make something smelly? It hasn't reached me yet. <laughs> Gotta go through you first. Breathe fast. You can be my filter, DJ. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, wow, okay. This is a German DHL box for sure. Everything about it. It's packet.de. Come on. But the return address says California, so now I am completely confused. What is all that? I know. We're going to find out. November 17th. Hi, Mr. A and DJ. I have been watching Kitten Academy since the fishies were tiny little fuzzballs after oh. seeing a link on Pinterest. <laughs> Watching the live stream throughout the day, and especially the close-ups every night, is now part of my daily routine. I hope you realize what an impact 20 or 30 minutes of carefree kitten watching can make and the joy your actions bring to people. I also watch the archived mailbag. Sorry, but getting, it up, getting up at 8 a.m. on a Saturday is just not happening for me. And I always wanted to send something, too. Well, my chance finally came. Oh, no. I just realized I probably didn't start the archive. What? Oh, hopefully we can stave it on YouTube. You know what? I'm going to start it right now just to I make sure. start it. Can but you? It's just going to start from now, huh? Mm-hmm. But hopefully we can. Okay, I see you are. Setting. No, you got to turn one of the others off first. So when she does this, it might take us offline for half a second while YouTube figures it out. But if it does, we'll be right back. I'm just going to check to see if it did take us offline now by looking on YouTube. Oh, oh, oh. I'm, not, I'm listening to myself. We're going to get some feedback. That's not kosher. 
Okay, so uh, I did forget to start the archive. That doesn't mean that we've lost the first hour of mailbag. Um, it might mean that, but what, what it, the, the only thing that it means is that I'll have to get um, YouTube to archive it instead of archiving it myself like I usually do. So. And what about the laws? Well, I started by talking about that before you came into the room. Oh, I've got a tech support ticket into YouTube about the lost close-ups, so hopefully those will get returned. Okay, I'm sorry. I interrupted this letter because you just reminded me that I didn't start the archive. I'm so... Uh, anyway, like I said, normally uh, we can archive it straight off of YouTube, and we only do it locally in case that fails, so hopefully it'll work today and we'll be fine. Okay. Um, okay, it says, I always wanted to send something, too. Well, my chance finally came. Since you enjoy packages from foreign countries so much, I decided to send you stuff from my native country, Germany, while I was there on vacation. Now it all makes sense. Mm. I have to admit, though, that I cheated. I bought everything there, even the package itself, and am shipping it from home. Miss that Rachel. way. That way I can smuggle in some items that customs would definitely confiscate and you don't have to wait three months for it to arrive. Ah, so yeah, I could have gotten in trouble at the airport, but the chances of getting pulled out of line there are minimal, whereas a, a mailed package always gets opened by customs. I can't tell you how many times they remove stuff from packages my family sent me. Bad, bad people. <laughs> now for the items in the box. Of course, I had to include some cat toys and treats, but the fun stuff is for you. Open everything now, and then read the rest. Okay, well, let's see. First off, we have a discount, a flyer for the Netto Market Discount, um, which is a, a, looks like a um, supermarket. Oh, supermarket in yes. Germany? Yes, in Germany. I look love it. Wow. Wow, look at this. There's a whole page of sausages. sausages. I like, yes, and Lieberwurst. Uh, I mean, just... Do you know what a stereotype you're making of yourselves here, Germans? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, anyway, wow, all this stuff looks pretty cool. This is fun, though. This is It's really cool to see stuff like this. It's just like getting a local newspaper where you get a, sort of a flavor for things that you would never see, uh, which is awesome. Okay, here we have some toys for the cats. Let's see if anybody gets into that while we're going through the rest. Custard. I know. Hey, Custard, what are you doing? Custard. Okay. So this is interesting. Oh, my. So here we have Kinder Rigel. I believe Rigel. Three of these. Can you spell that? R-I-E-G-E-L. Rigel? Rigel. I'm going with Rigel. Wasn't, wasn't Rigel the planet in Star Trek? What am I thinking of? Rigel? Yeah. I don't know. Riza? Riza. I'm thinking of Riza. Okay. But Sorry. There's a, um, you know, there's a okay. Star called Rigel. Rigel. Yes, there is a star called Rigel. Um, yeah, but I think Rigel. it's spelled different. Okay. Here we have Vitacraft Cat Stick Mini Sugar Free Recipe. Extra 95% meaty. Whoa. Cat sticks are wonderful treats that we, we love giving cat sticks as treats. Vitacraft Cat Stick Mini. How do you spell that? Uh, Vitacraft, V-I-T-A-K-R-A-F-T. Why would that be obvious to anyone? It could be a C, it could be a K. You're right, it could. Made in Germany. All right. Um, cat sticks are great treats. I love how convenient they are, and they're just easy. You just break off little bits. It's fantastic. Here we have Kinder Scholbons. Scholl? No, I'm sorry. Scholl? Schokobons. Schokobons? Schokobons, maybe? I don't know. There we go. This other one, the thing was uh, folded over in a way that I couldn't quite read it. B-O? Uh, B-O-N-S, like bonbons. What is yes. a sassy? Here we have, I don't know what this is, but the lemons on it look delicious. It's frit, F-R-I-T-T, -T, frit. And uh, it must be lemony, I guess. Uh, and that's all that I know about it. It says, it says there's six of them in there. I believe they are biscuits. What I want? Lemon biscuits. I need... Right now? Yeah. Okay, here you go. Oh, look at this. There's some more of these little tiny bonbons. It has vitamin C. Okay, more bonbons. Here we have, oh, this is kind of scary. It's a Trixie cat toy, and uh, it reminds me of one of those nasty house centipedes, but it's basically, it's got fur and um, raffia, and cats love raffia. Well, yeah, that's what they all say. 
Yes. Cat toy, I'm sure. Cat toy. Um, so it's like a Trixie centipede cat toy made from raffia. And the cats love raffia. All cats love raffia as a toy. This is actually, it's a fairly cool toy. It's just, oh, the fact that it looks like one of these house centipedes kind of gives me the willies. Those things really, ooh, ugh. They bother me. Okay, okay. You can't take that away yet. It's still attached to the card. She wants it. I know she Can does. Can she have it? Okay, here, I'll put it out right now. Okay. You ready for this? You ready? You ready for this? Who wants it? Who wants it? You want it? Okay. All right. Here we have a little green rubber ball for the cats. Here we have a little gray fur ball for the cats. Oh, wow, look at this. Here we have, uh, I think this is like a German cowbell, but it is a miniature cowbell on a keychain. It says, made in Germany. Miniature German cowbell. Here we have Maum Blocks. Maum Blocks? How many O's? M-A-O-A-M. Maum? Maum Blocks? We have a raspberry one. We have a strawberry one. Actually, I think that's it. Raspberry and strawberry. More bonbons, by the way. Uh, here we have a multi-fit salmon cream. Wow. Wow. Salmon cream in a tube to feed the cats as a treat. I bet that is going to be a huge hit. Can you try it? No, I'm not going to try any. No, I mean, just see what the <laughs> Here's the another Rigel. Rigel? Rigel? Regal? Regal. I'm going with Regal. Hey, that sounds good. Okay. Here we have a Milky's 4 times 4 Milky's cat snacks. They're little tiny cat snacks that are milky. Oh, they're so cute! Yes, they each come in like a little tiny yogurt cup. As you can see, four of those. They look adorable. I bet DJ is going to have a lot of fun feeding those to the cats. Now we have, oh, there's a white ball too, okay, toy for the cats. And a tin with cotton balls. <gasps> oh my gosh, the cotton balls were to protect this. This must be the contraband. This is the thing that you were worried about not getting through customs, isn't it? What is it? <gasps> a giant? It is a giant Kinder egg. egg. I didn't even know they came in a size like this. Wow. That is phenomenal. Have you ever seen one like no, this? No, I haven't. This is like a Kinder Goose egg. It's huge. Kinder Goose egg. That's wow. Uberashung, Maxi. Uh, it's say that huge. Again? Uberashung. <laughs> Uber a shun? Maxi. Wow. Where are you going with that? Chestnut? That's cool. And I love the way that you packed it by putting cotton balls in this tin so that it would be protected. Did she steal a cotton ball? Yeah, she walked away with it. I'm going to repack it a little bit so that we don't accidentally break it before we're ready to open it. That is amazing. Wow. And we can use this tin probably for cat treats when we're done. It's, I called it a tin. It's a plastic. We had this conversation just the other day. Regal. Okay. Okay. It's pronounced like regal. We've got it. That makes too much sense. Another bonbon, by the way. Okay. Now there's one last thing in the box. And let's see what it is. Oh. The shape is like a, oh, hey, look at that. It's another German bell. Oh, that's cool. Only this one is exactly the same, but bigger. That's really weird. <laughs> look. Hang on. Here's the big one, and here's the little one. Look at that. Oh, the oh. cats do not like the big bell. Oh, except for Sassy, who's not afraid of anything. That is so cool. I call this a cowbell. I'm not sure if it really is a cowbell. I don't, I don't know what the purpose of this particular bell is. But I'm going to look it up online. I will find out. Thank you so much. These are really cool. And these bells look like they're pretty obviously handmade. 
Well, the big one, the little one, not so much. The little one's got like a machine weld, but the big one is definitely handmade. Very cool. Yeah, this is like chili lemon. Really? Can I try a tiny bit? Mm -hmm. Without having to eat a whole thing? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. This is so cool. And how cool of you to send it from uh, California. That was that really threw us off, by the way. Oh, it's like lemon toffee. Uh, taffy. Lemon taffy is what I mean. Hmm. Oh, oh, Tessie. Can you pull that out of Tessie's mouth, please? Right there. Hmm. Got a little piece of cotton stuck in your mouth, that's all. Okay, no more cotton ball for you. Mmm. It is. It's, it's lemon taffy. It's very good. Great. Mmm. Very good. I like, uh, I like taffy and I like lemon. Can you read the rest of the letter? Yes, I'm sorry. Now I can read the rest of the letter. Okay. I'm just trying to keep the cotton balls away from the kids. Sorry about the sweets. I really don't want to undermine your diet, so I only sent a little. Well, except for the egg. <laughs> These are only in stores around Easter and Christmas, so it was perfect timing for me. Also, I figured if I did get busted at the airport, I could have made a good point against illegal because something non-edible wrapped in food and accidentally swallowing. I don't think anybody could accidentally swallow a plastic egg that size. I hope you open it on the stream since I'm dying to know what's in it. Oh, okay, let's do it. Should we open it right now? Yeah. What else are you in? And since that chocolate is so good, I also included tiny versions of it for DJ. The print snacks are fruit-flavored, mouth-watering, tangy sweet strips of chewy goodness. They certainly are. Those things are fantastic. Same goes for Maum, which is Maoam. Maoam? Okay, only smaller and harder. Interesting. Including a local newspaper wouldn't have made much sense, so I opted for a grocery store circular. It has pictures, and you can see how much stuff costs in comparison. One euro is about a dollar ten. And finally, the bells. I was watching an old mailbag from before my time where someone sent you an iron thingy for your front door. When you discovered that it came with a real bell, you were totally excited, so I thought I'd send you a cowbell that's very typical for Bavaria. Uh, points out that Bavaria is an area in Germany. Yes, the cows do actually wear those. Of course, I also had to buy the miniature version for DJ. Yes, that's so hot. I hope that you and your four-legged housemates enjoy the contents of the package. I'm sure I'll be grinning like a total idiot when I watch Aww. this. Keep up the amazing work you're doing for cats and cat lovers. What are you doing, Hickory? Angela, Kanga, and Rue. Oh. Thank you so much, Angela. This is uh, just the coolest package. And yeah, you and everybody else is ruining my diet, but uh, in the best way. Just the best way possible. This is fantastic. I am excited about this bell. It is awesome. Thank you so much for sending this. And it is a cowbell. Thank you for confirming that. Now we know. I'm actually going to eat one of these tiny little bonbons. I think that if you are suggesting that... Oh, they are. Here, eat the other half of this. This is a chocolate Kinder Egg. Huh. With just a shrimp thing? Kind of. No, maybe not. There's a little something different inside, huh? Oh. Well, do we open the Kinder Egg now or do we open it later? Okay, let's see. Here's what I'm going to do. Look at Bucky. I know. They love that. They do love it. That's a great toy. That centipede with the, with the stuff is a great toy. All right, let's find out what's in here. It's a Christmas theme, so probably something Christmas themed. And instead of eating all this chocolate right now, I can put it back into the container okay. that you sent. Make sure you, uh, so those of you that have never seen a Kinder Egg before, so satisfying. Do you want to do you want to break it open? Yeah, but you have to. No, you can, but you have to make sure that it's exactly split. No, I, I've never opened one before, really. So you really? should. If you know how to do it, you should do it. I don't know if I can do it in this So, side. if you've never seen a Kinder Egg before, which I know a lot of our American audience has not, it is a chocolate egg. This is chocolate. And inside it is a toy. And DJ is going to break it open and then hand it back to me. Ah, I hope I don't mess it up. My leg's falling asleep, so I'm going to okay, stretch it out. Here. Did you get it? Careful. Okay. She said she broke it a little bit, and now I have to open the rest. 
Good. Hey, that's perfect. That's just the way you like it, isn't it? That's just the way I like it. I always feel very you sad right if now? I break it. Can, no. Can you, put it, can you put it back together? Put it back together? Yeah. Where am I? Some kind of a chocolate surgeon? Yeah, All right. Because that's, that's a thing. Yeah. So then there's an egg inside the egg. We've got this yellow egg inside. Usually this, this is the exact same thing. This is the smaller. exact same thing, but yes, the regular Kinder Eggs are much, much smaller. But they have a little tiny egg inside and then a toy. And they usually have instructions. I love they the They do. They do have instructions. So this toy looks like it is a ice skating snowman. And it's got a little decal to put on. You have to read the instructions. Okay, I'll read the instructions. There's always an instructions to go with the toy. Custard? Bucky's hugging you, Okay, Custard. the instructions say to put the label on the thing. Okay, we can do that. Hang on. Don't steal our chocolate egg, Sassy. Don't do it. That's my egg. And then you put this here. Custard! Oh, did you smell custard? So now it's a little um, ice skating thing, and then it and says... It does something. Yes. As oh. it's a car, don't take the cotton balls. You guys are going to get cotton, cotton stuck in your teeth. So Chestnut apparently really likes cotton balls. I see that. Um, is there something in here that's kind of jingly besides your bell? There's not, okay. Did you lose something? No, no, that's the whole thing. Okay. Um, so this is the toy, and the toy, um, I don't know where to illustrate this, but it's got, oh, it's it's got little wheels on the bottom like a car, and if you push it, don't eat the chocolate. Oh, she got okay. a piece of chocolate. Just a tiny piece. No. Not going to hurt her. Uh, if you push the car, the little skater on the top spins so on his ice skates. This. Here, I can do it. So cool! It's a little spinning ice skating toy. That's pretty cool. I that's like awesome. it. That's awesome. That's very cool. Thank you so much. Um, that's I've never seen a Kinder Egg that size, and it's pretty awesome. And you need to stay out of that chocolate. People are going to get all freaked out. You guys don't have to freak out. She's not getting enough of the chocolate to be worried about. You can get some of the milk part, which she probably enjoyed. Well, do you want to give her um, one of these? Yeah. Can you put no, the lid on that? there's not enough for everybody, though. There's not. There's not enough for everybody. There, there is. Oh, are you going to break it? Oh, Sorry. Mmm. Yum. Where is the lid? Oh, here it is. Okay. Mm. Thank you so much. That is a great gift all around. Wow. Well, can I have an address or something? Yeah, I'm going to give this to DJ so she can take down your address and stuff. Mm. What a fun box. What a great box. And this centipede toy is a big hit already. Although it does kind of freak me out a little. When I was a kid, you know, my mom liked to expose us to all kinds of crazy stuff. And she got one of those giant millipedes that they sell in pet stores. And we had a pet giant millipede. Huge. Didn't bother me. Fine with it. Yet, for some reason, those house centipedes, and you'd have to Google it. They're not like the regular centipedes that you see outside. They're the ones that live in people's basements. They have really long legs. This reminds me of them. And uh, the house centipedes, they just freak me out every time. I don't know why. I just, I can't stand them. They have sent us stuff before, but I can't find it on the log. Hmm. Don't they? Um, maybe. Maybe it was pre-log. Yeah. Okay. We have 45 minutes left in the mailbag. We've only got five boxes, so we're going to make it no problem. But let me just remind you that we also are expecting potential adopters to come by at 1 o'clock, right? 1 o'clock? 1 o'clock. So we'll have that fun this afternoon as well. Okay, here we have a box from Dragon Maker. Open this end, and it, <laughs> Dragon Maker has marked the fact that there's a handy pull tab here. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Dragon Maker. All right, so what is this box? 
There's a letter taped to the inside. I can smell the catnip. <laughs> Ugh, lots of catnip. Oh, wow. Is that a painting? By Ken Massam? That's beautiful. Wow, my goodness. All right. As usual, uh, Dragon Maker has written us a letter and also included a handwritten translation of the letter so that I can read it easily. I'm sorry, a type translation. The type translation says, Dear Mr. A and DJ, I hope your turkey day was as drama-free as I planned mine to be. Hard to say as I'm writing this two days ahead. I hope this package makes it in time for the mailbag on the 25th. If not, well, there's nothing time-sensitive in the box. This being the season, to express gratitude, I would like to do just that. Finding Kitten Academy late last winter was very helpful to me, first as an escape, and then as a stepping stone to pull me out of a depression. I've enjoyed watching Mr. A and DJ almost as much as the kittens. Your positive attitude and love for cats and kittens is inspiring. Over the last ten months and more, we've all watched many classes come and go, and as delightful as it is to meet a new class, it's a lovely happy sad as they go on to their forever homes. I'm additionally grateful for the support I've gotten from y'all and the wider Kitten Academy community. You have all helped my business to grow in an unexpected direction, and it's been fun to explore. The contents of this package are sent with heartfelt thanks. Please don't ever stop being the amazing people you are. Thank you again, Catherine the Dragon Maker, and of course Emma Toffee Cosette, and the Grand Dame Alfaba. Toffee is, of course, the new kitten that Dragon Maker has. He is adorable. Toffee is adorable. Yes, Toffee's completely adorable. You need to see her. Uh, if you don't follow Dragon Maker on Twitter, you can definitely find her there. And if you want to find Dragon Maker's store, especially if you want to find it after I show you what's in the box, it's Dragon Maker, M-A-K-R, no E, uh, just Dragon M-A-K-R. But he apparently loves tissue paper. I see that. Buggy's going nuts for those tissues. Okay, in the box, yeah, please find, if possible, pull each item out as you read the list. More Dragon Wing Catnip Toys. This badge should round out the current classes. I did my best to find fleece with verbs on it, but no such luck. So, verbs like trees, right? Wren, Budgie, Gracie, and Finch can have tree pattern wings, same as the other class. There might be an extra wing here. I've lost track of how many trees and birds there are running around. <laughs> so this is uh, one of the, the coolest things that Dragon Maker sells in her store are these dragon wings. And I know that if you're just looking at it, you're like, it's a dragon wing. What's the big deal? Well, the big deal is that it's filled with high-grade catnip, and the cats love them. Our faculty cats especially are crazy for these things. And yes, somebody's decided to go for the whole pile. <laughs> She's sticking her She's head in there. Like her mom. She's trying to burrow into them. Her mom loves catnip. Yes. All right, sassy. Crazy. Take it easy now. You'll get one when you go home, sassy. You'll get one of these for all for yourself soon enough. Okay. Number two. Uh, I think this is number two? No, this is number two. Hang on. Number two, locally made Chapel Hill toffee. Uh-oh. I know. People have no respect. You know, I'm going to have to start asking people to send me extra large t-shirts. <laughs> Instead of large. Anyway, Chapel Hill Toffee, I feel like you've sent this to us before, or someone yeah, has. We've I, definitely I had Chapel Hill Toffee. Box. And I know I have had Ch Chapel Hill Toffee because I have eaten all of it. And I probably will eat all of it again. I'm a big fan of toffee. Uh, all right, number three. Oh, locally made Chapel Hill Toffee. They really do make excellent sweets. When I saw the coffee-flavored toffee, which is attached to the back here, uh, I had to pick it up for you guys, too. Well, thank you. Number three. As the mama to a new kitten who likes to climb, I've found this particular item to be very helpful. It helps to mend my jeans, if not my flesh. It is a 
Interesting. Interesting. I'm trying. Snag Nabbit. Snag Nabbit. <laughs> it's called a Snag Nabbit. It is a particular kind of needle. Oh, I see. It's a particular kind of needle that's made to fix, uh, you know, like when you get a snag in your jeans and they pull out a little loop of fabric and it kind of screws up the rest of the area. This is a little tiny needle that's made especially to fix that. I've never heard of that before, but that's there is so a, cool. there's instructions on the back about how to use it. So I will give it a try. I'm imagining I've already got a lot of clothing that can benefit from this. We can fix that, but it just happened in the throw. On the oh. Possibly. This doesn't look like it's intended for use in knits, but we'll see. What? I know. What? Now what? nobody can see anything anymore. Hey. All right. We're done here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sassy. You saved us. Number four. This last item was made by a dear friend of mine at the Maryland Renaissance Festival. Coop does amazing things with wood. There's more information in the How box. Coop, C-O-O-P, Coop. Wow, okay. So this is Inspired Wood Carvings and Wood Burnings by Mark Cooper and Katrina Hoffman, which is the company is Signs of Spirit. And you can find them online at signsofspirit.com. Signsofspirit.com. And let's see what it is. Picky's fine. Oh my. Oh hey, I think I saw one of these in one of your pictures, Dragon Maker, and I commented on it. And that must be where this came from, am I right? Oh wow, that's beautiful. Not only is it beautiful, so it's a knot work. It's, yes. It's carved knot work wood. It's one single wow. piece of wood. It's carved into like a Celtic kind of knot work. But then on the top, it's a heart that is a cat head, and on the wow. bottom, it's a cat tail, and the body, this is the body of the cat. That's so cool. So it's actually a cat with little ears and everything, and beautiful grain on that wood, too. I don't know what it is, but that's gorgeous. Signs of Spirit, the cat. And then there's a little thing in here that inside it says, Gentle eyes that see so much, paws that have the quiet touch, purrs to signal all is well and show more love than words could tell. <laughs> Graceful moment, movements touched with pride, a calming presence by our side. A friendship that takes time to grow, small wonder, we love them so. That's really awesome. Thank you so much for sending this, Dragon Maker. That's, that's something that's definitely going to go in our chest of very special things. Uh, our display cabinet, I should say, of very special things. Signsofspirit.com is that. Of course, Dragon Maker also makes cool things, not just these catnip wings, but Dragon Maker also makes um, scent-filled cats that are like cat-sized stuffed cats that smell great, and uh, DJ keeps one of those near the bed all the time. A bunch of other cool stuff, too, little, little pet dragons. Um, there's a sassy in this box, by the way. Yeah. Let me see that. Okay. Um, so if you wanted to find that, the dragon wings and the other things from Dragon Maker, uh, that is, I believe, Sleeping Dragon South, and you can just also look for Dragon Maker, dragon spelled normally, maker spelled M-A-K-R, on Etsy. You can find all that stuff there on Etsy. So, wow, that is completely awesome. Dragon Maker, thank you so much for sending that stuff. That wooden thing is phenomenal. You're right, Coop does... Um, awesome things with wood. Wow. Thank you, too. What are you doing? All right. Now, there is a box here for my mom, and I'm sure she's watching, but I'm going to make her wait a little bit longer before we open that. So first we're going to do oh, the drop oh, ship box. Chestnut. I know. I know chestnuts there. Chestnut, you have to be so close to this. Chestnut. She's fine. She's having fun. Wrong with that. Wow! My goodness, what is this? All right, hang on. There's gift notes. Whoa, wow! Wow! Hi, Kitten Academy. Please feel free to use the Snacky Mouse cat toys in endowments. However, please keep one to give to Jimmy D for Gary and Winnie as a thank you for his advice on Discord. 
Sarah and Tim from Discord. Sarah and Tim from Discord, this is a phenomenal box full of toys. Um, so here you go. Sarah and Tim on Discord have sent us like a half a dozen Temptation Snacky Mouse. Um, these are these are little wobbly mice um, that you put treats in, and there's a little hole in the side of the mouse, so when your cat bats it around, the treats will fall out, and the cat can eat the treats. And it's perfectly sized, obviously, for Temptations, which are also known as Dreamies, which are some of our cat's favorite treats. And here we have included uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of those. I've only set two out, but there's six in the box. Plus we have two giant size 16 ounce Temptation Treats, which are tantalizing turkey flavor, just in time for Thanksgiving. And finally, a Healthy Edibles with real turkey and apple flavor for uh, Elsie, obviously. Thank you so much for sending this stuff. That is fantastic. Sarah and Tim, um, that's a very generous gift. Thank you. Just tons. We will uh, add these snacky mice to the mailbags, I mean the mailbags, to the endowment bags, except, as you say, one that will go to Winnie and Gary. So thank you so, so much. That's really cool. Those temptation mice are great. We've had one for the faculty, and they really like it. I don't know where it went, but they had a lot of fun with it. So maybe if we can't find it, we'll break out another one of these for the faculty. They, they really enjoy that stuff. Thank you, Sarah and Tim. That's completely cool. All right. Okay, well, uh, my mom's box is the next one I can reach, so we're going to do that. This is a, a set not to me. This was not sent to me, her son. This was sent to Kitten Academy at our post office box, just like everybody else. It's not as though she doesn't know where we live. Uh, but that's okay. That just makes it clear. This is something not for me. This is for Kitten Academy. So, let's see what we got. Oh, my. Mom, you did not have to send us anything, by the way. All right. Let's start here. It says, there's a letter. It says, okay to read. <laughs> She knows. She knows what we're doing here. I should point out that uh, not only does this say okay to read, my mom, uh, we, she's, so she fostered the birds, and she sent them to us to finish because at the time she had just rescued these kittens and needed to foster them, and she sent them here so that they would get exposed and uh, find some adopters. And uh, already Ren has, and we're hoping that the other two do soon. They're great, great kittens. So... Now she's joined up with a shelter in Wichita where she lives, and she's got three more kittens that she's fostering with the shelter. They won't be coming here. Uh, now that she's working with a shelter, she'll be able to get them adopted there where she lives. Oh. Hey, but sassy. we sent her a whole bunch of stuff to help her with those three kittens that she's fostering, and her sister sent us a mailbag video of my mom opening the stuff that we sent her. Mm -hmm. And it was perfect. She was like, oh, it's drop shipped. And she was doing all the mailbag stuff. It was she really. She to be just. Fun. Right, yes. She also, she told her sister to only film her, like, from here down so that she, they would have the authentic mailbag experience. Very funny. They're hilarious. They're hilarious. Um, okay. So it says, okay to read. And uh, in the corner here is, I've got to show you this before I start reading it. It's very tiny, but this is a cat that my mom drew right here. It's a drawing from my mom. I can tell because it's signed N. Jansen. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. And I've uh, just outed our name and her last name, too, on the mailbag. That's okay. Not a big secret. Uh, I think that the uh, BBC outed us, too, so it's not the first time it's been out there. Is that thing getting into treats? Like, is that possible? It's possible? No, it's not possible. No, she's just digging around in the box anyway. Okay. Dear Chris and DJ, I love how you two have created this incredibly diverse <laughs> community of individuals all over the world who have one thing in common. A heartfelt concern and love for cats and kittens that need to find loving homes. I started watching your live stream from the very <laughs> beginning, of course. <laughs> and have recently become part of the Discord chat group 
where I'm mostly a lurker, but truly enjoying everyone and their wonderful camaraderie and sense of humor. And of course, I love the Q&A sessions and the kitten close-ups because you chat with us. Most of all, I love the Saturday morning mailbag and how you truly appreciate the letters and drawings from young, emerging artists all over the world and make a special point of talking about each of their submissions and pointing out the finer details that might be difficult for the KA viewing audience to pick up on. I can't even imagine how special it must make them feel to have their creative masterpieces viewed by your subscribers all over the world. Because of that, I'm sending you a drawing from Roxy. Hang on. <laughs> sending you a drawing from Roxy, a very special friend of mine, who just recently turned seven years old and is quite the cat lover. She has three of her own. I sat Roxy up with some of my colored pencils and office scrap paper to keep her entertained while her mom and I visited one evening and the Kitten Academy played in the background. She is a prolific little artist and turned out about one drawing every couple of minutes, so I chose one of the 30 or so produced that evening to send to you. So much humor shows through in this drawing I couldn't resist. I've attached a sticky note to walk you through the story it illustrates. Maybe you can relate to the incident she has captured. Love, Mom. Uh, so, P.S., I hope the large t-shirt I sent is already too big for you and you're back to whatever size you're working for. The portrait above is one of Tom and Chris's cat, Emily, I did in 2007 with colored pencils and some other mixed media. So, all right, here's our picture from Roxy. And it says, carrying a very unhappy kitten to the sink for a bath. Uh -oh. Notice the accident in the lower right corner. Oh, and it's not only is it a little accident in the lower right corner, it's got little smoking uh, steam coming off of the pile here. Wow. The little steaming pile in the corner, the little steam lines. Uh, love the kitten's expression. Yes, the kitten's got its ears down. Look at this. It's got its ears, like, down, and it's it's got a very, like, a... Like a, what do you call the emoji with just a line for the mouth? Neutral face. Yes, like a, uh. and then over here we've got a sink. I can see that very clearly. And then uh, a lady with long hair and a little earring is carrying the cat. The lady's smiling, but the cat is very much like, uh, why do I have to do this? Aww. And then in a total art inception moment, we have a picture on the wall of a sunny day with a little flower in the sun and some grass. So it's art in art. How cool is that? Artception. I know. How many levels deep does it go? If we look at this really closely, maybe there's another painting in the painting. Got to check this out. No, maybe not. Okay. Maybe not. Okay, it only goes one level deep. That's still pretty cool. Roxy, <laughs> thank you so much. We are going to add this to our board for sure. Thank you oh, so yeah. much. I love it. I'm sure the kitty was... Happy again after the short bath. I'm sure. I'm sure. And yes, we can relate. That happens to us all the time. So let's see. Mom included some other stuff in the box. Let's see what we got here. We have a... Uh, we've got two kitchen towels. Here's a kitchen towel that says, Talk to the cat. I'm just the housekeeper. Mm -hmm. With a mouse on it. And then we have another kitchen towel that says... You had me at meow with a cat on it. Those are beautiful towels. And, oh, we got a t-shirt, and the t-shirt, I see the label. The t-shirt labels from the mountain. They have made some of the coolest, coolest shirts that I own. Oh, really? You know the, the cat Kraken, the one that's the kitten yeah. that's, like, attacking the ship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's from these guys, the mountain. Yes. Oh, wow, wow. look at that. That's so beautiful. Cool. That's okay. so colorful. I don't know. Art Cat. Just call it Art Cat from the Mountain. How about that? Thank you so much. Wow, that's a great t-shirt. And I'm glad that you sent me a large that was very thoughtful because so far I've made uh, negative progress on my goals. Uh, thanks to everybody sending us candy in the mailbags. I blame them. I don't blame me for being lazy and not working out. I can't be blamed for that. That is completely not my fault. Um... It's, uh, it's, it's all of your faults, and uh, I'm going to hold you responsible. TJ doesn't look impressed with me. 
seriously, I, I appreciate the candy and all that stuff. And I, really, all I have to do is start working out regularly, and I haven't been able to um, because I'm lazy, I guess. And uh, I need to get back to it. It's you know, it makes me feel better. It makes everything about my life better. It's just so dang hard to do. I'm sure that you, some of you can relate. Okay, that's really cool. Thank you so much for sending this stuff. I love the painting from the drawing from Roxy. It's fantastic. And those towels are also fantastic. And here, you need to take down that address and add it to our mailbag. Okay, we know where she lives, too. We know this. We already know. All right. Let's put some of this stuff away. We've got two boxes left. Two boxes in 25 minutes. I think we can do it. I think we can. I think we can. Custard. Custard. Right, hang on. First, Custard, let's Custard. do this drop ship first and save the hand packed bag box for the last. Oh, the Chewy's not a drop ship. No, the Chewy's not actually a drop ship Chewy box. It's just recycled. Custard. Where is my green knife now? Am I sitting on it? I am. Okay, here it is. Got it. Okay. Drop ship from Amazon Fulfillment Services. Yes, they love us. Amazon Fulfillment Services, they send us stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. It's great. Oh, hey, I already know what this is. I just look in the box, I know exactly what it is. These are Clint. Clint bowls. Clint bowls. Yes. Mr. A, here are bowls for the four new kittens to take their forever homes. Clint in NH. Clint, thank you so much. Clint does this. Uh, so, first off, Clint is just an awesome guy. And, uh, has joined us on the Discord chat and has been doing this for a while now. And one of the things that Clint does to show his support for the kittens is he sends these beautiful metal bowls that are probably last a lifetime for every single kitten that graduates from the Kitten Academy. They get one of these bowls to go with them. It's really sweet. And we've already got a big stack of these uh, down in our mailbag room for all of the tree cats. So now we also have them for the Burbs and for Gracie. There's four in the box. Clint, thank you so, so much. I love what you do for these kittens. And it's just, it's amazing. When you started sending these bowls, I think I said, you know, you really don't, should not feel obligated to keep it up. And I made a personal bet with myself that you probably wouldn't keep it up as long as you have, and you have. You've been sending these bowls for every kitten that has graduated since you started. It's amazing. Thank you so much for the bowls. Thank you so much for your support, Clint. Uh, we love having you as a fan. A lot of alumni really like it because some of them have chin acne that's, that's exacerbated yeah, that's by plastic bowls. Right. They tell you not to use plastic bowls for your cats because it can give them that little bit of chin acne. That's what they say. And uh, these metal bowls are really great because you never get that. They're easy to clean. Uh, they're really, really good bowls. So, thank you, Clint. Those are awesome. Uh, okay. Now we are down to the last box, the recycled Chewy box. Okay. And let's see what's in the box. Oh, my. There's a lot of stuff in the box. Is there a note? There is a note. The note is hidden. All right, let's see. The note says, you may read this on the live stream. Dear Kitten Academy, my husband and I started watching your live stream with Ivy's League. Ah, oh, some long timers. He adored that family. Uh, we adored that family, especially little Yale. Wow, you know, uh, well, I'll get back to it. Hang on. We truly admire both you and DJ for what you do. We are so glad to see such wonderful people accomplishing such wonderful things. We recently purchased a kitty cube for our own fur babies and decided to get an extra one to share with the Kitten Academy. We also threw in a magnet from our town's UFO museum. Mm -hmm. Yes, we live in Roswell, New Mexico, wow. the land of UFOs in Area 51. And then there's a little drawing of an alien and a UFO. We thought you and DJ would get a kick out of that. Again, thank you for being so awesome and for doing what you do. You guys rock. Love, Nate and Chrissy. P.S. Our cat, Louie, looks exactly like Custard, except he's fatter. <laughs> so, we like to call him Fat Custard. Fat Custard. Fat Custard. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Hi, Custard. Hi, 
Skin, skinny custard. Skinny custard. Wow, so skinny funny. custard. Like I don't that. know about that. Our custard is already pretty big, so Louie must be a real handful. How do you um, say Louie? L-O-U-I-E. Louie. So, first off, um, Yale is so, so beautiful. I, You know, the very first thing, if you go back and you watch the video of her being born, the very first thing I say when she was born was that is a beautiful kitten. And I meant it. She just looked special. She had that little starburst over her eye. So pretty. Well, we've been able to watch her growing up this whole time because Yale's adopter is on Twitter and also on our Discord and posts a ton of pictures on the Discord alumni spam. We love it. And we've been watching Yale ever since then. Uh, there's probably new pictures of her up there today. And she just has gotten more and more beautiful every single day. She's the best looking kitten. Like if you asked me to pick the best looking kitten that has ever graduated from Kitten Academy, I would say Yale, hands down. It's amazing. I would. There have been a lot of good looking kittens, don't get me wrong. Like for the, the, the competition for number two is intense. I could not pick number two, but for number one, I would stick with Yale. That cat is beautiful, still beautiful. Um, so, uh, UFO Museum, Roswell, New Mexico, though, I want to believe, and I see it fell out of uh, the bag. I, I almost would have missed it. So it says, meow, my cat loves Roswell. <laughs> Look at that. I, this is, so it's a magnet. I'm, this is totally going on my car. I have never seen anything like this in this area. And uh, I've been looking for the perfect magnet to finally stick something on my car. I, I have no flair on my car whatsoever. I'm not like a car flare person generally, but this is perfect. So if you see this going around in the Midwest, you'll know it's me. This is totally going on my car. I love that thing. Seriously, I'm not joking. Okay, and inside we have uh, what is called a kitty cube. Wow. Um, this room is kind of full, so I'm going to put this aside and we will use it in, down the road just a little bit. But it's a beautiful color. It's nice and soft. I can see the fur inside is, is nice. Fur Haven, Fur Haven Pet Cozy Cube. Thank you so much. That's really, really nice of you. And I'm so glad that you guys have been watching for such a long time. I'll tell you, Ivy really was uh, one of the groups, that for some reason... A lot of people started right around that time, and it's great that so many of you are still with us and enjoying uh, watching the kittens, so thank you. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for this. I, I seriously think this is cool. I love the like alien cat crossover idea. It's uh, You don't see that very often. Very rare. Very cool. All mm -hmm. right. Well, that brings to a close another successful mailbag. Was it successful? It was successful. I succeeded in opening every box. I got a lot of help from the cats in dealing with the packing material. We got a uh, little Daddy. Juniper is, is settled down. Uh, yeah, here. Here's the box for you. Little Juniper is settled down next to the camera, so you can't see her, but I'm going to take a picture because it's really cute. Oh, you know how to pose. I should use some yellow paper like that as a background for pictures for you. That looks great. All right. Because of the aliens? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Hmm. You know, they don't actually let people into Area 51. I know. Okay. Probably where he would land, Superman King. No, Superman actually landed in Kansas. Oh, right, Kansas. Yeah. Very all-American Midwest kind of a place. Yes. yes. All right, well, i got to clean this stuff up. Thank you, guys. Thanks, thanks to all of you for everything that you sent. It is amazing. It's so generous. Um... And uh, lots and lots of candy, too, so I'm set for another week. <laughs> it's funny. It's definitely funny. 
All right, so anyway, we're going to try to get this stuff cleaned up. We're going to try to get everything that we need to get in order in order. And in uh, about an hour and 15 minutes, we expect to see some people show up to meet the cats, maybe to take a couple of them home. That would be Maple and Hickory. Might go home this afternoon. Might not. They might. Is somebody getting adopted tomorrow? Yeah, Hannah Banana. Hannah Banana is getting picked up tomorrow, and... Uh, do we know Definitely what time? Going home around noon. Around noon. So around noon tomorrow, Hannah Banana, and uh, I'm going to run to my computer and see if I can get this entire mailbag archived by YouTube because I completely forgot to start the archive myself. I'm terrible. Okay, thanks again, everybody. Oh, oh boy, I'm getting too old for this. <sighs> All right. How am I going to get all this stuff out of here? Let's see what I can do. Those photos need to be tweeted. You guys really like that box, don't you? There's nothing in here but paper, right? I'm gonna let you guys play with it for a little while. That's fine. I'm taking this. You guys can keep the rest of it.
this up. Skinny custard. Skinny custard, it's time to go. Oh, come on, skinny custard.